Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today on the schedule is something a little bit different. I don't really know how this is gonna go. I'm having really actually, believe it or not, a horrible day. I had to shower to shoot some campaigns and otherwise, you know, the, the, the day started with a panic attack. It hasn't been a good day. Um, and it's really hard to work and chat and do beauty and things. Um, but what I do find that makes it easier for me is actually just telling you that because now I feel excited to get into it as opposed to I have this weird feeling like I'm lying and I'm being ingenuine. If I'm being completely honest, when I'm having a really hard day and I come on here and I'm like, hey guys, you know, there's something to it and that's my own thing I've got to unpack. But anyways, I'm having a hard day and I figured we would just do our makeup together. And if you're not having a hard day, I'm really glad to hear it. If you're just content and peaceful, I'm so glad to hear that too. And if you're having a hard day, I'm right there with you and I figured... I would get ready and you can watch me do that. Um, I don't really know. Let's go ahead and get started. To start, I'm gonna prep my face with the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Antioxidant Glow Water. I forgot I own this. It smells really good. It smells like vitamin C, like it almost has that like powdery, like chewable vitamin C smell and I really love it. So I have to start breaking this out again and using it like on the day to day. Um, and the reason that my mood kind of got uplifted, like I had a, uh, panic attack this morning um but I had to shoot some campaigns and when I need to pull myself out of that it can be really really hard but I did put a little bit of stuff on my face in case you're wondering I have the Lancome Advanced Genifique mixed with the Indeed Labs Nano Bronze and you know what it's a Tom Ford kind of day let's break out Tommy boy um it's just such a complicated the world of like mental health is so <laughs> mental health versus mental illness and you know self-care this whole world is hard to navigate and hard to figure out when you really do need the help I've um there's obviously been a lot of changes oops in the world and in my life and in your life and it's really really it's like everything has changed but also nothing has changed and um it's just a weird freaking time so what do I do? <laughs> Let's put on some expensive foundation. I'm at a loss. I really tend to isolate and pull back from people when I'm like this. So I feel like this is a good happy medium for me because I feel like I'm being social. And sometimes I really do need to force myself out of it. And then other times I give myself the rest, but it's so hard and it's so individual. Shiseido concealer um, and everybody is on their own like path right it's really so complicated um, I'd love to talk about some of the books that I've um, been reading over the past little while I really love this concealer I don't know if it's being discontinued because it was for sale on the Sephora website I hope not I can't take that hit but I think something that I'm really noticing is that we really are all kind of faking it in a certain way. And it's really frustrating because the faking it is what leads to other people feeling bad and it leads to people being hurt and then hurt people hurt people. And it's just such a... The world is tough. <laughs> I don't know what to say, honestly. This is the Sun Melt from Sai. Don't know how to say that brand. Natural cream bronzer and medium bronze. I don't know if I've used this since I bought it, but I really enjoy cream bronzers and bronzing in general. So in an effort to make myself feel better, I'm going to do that. And actually today I have no product in my hair and I just got it dyed. I went to Juju Salon. It's in Etobicoke. It's owned by Janet Jackson. Uh, she's a celebrity hairstylist here in Toronto and she's amazing she's got great stylists there it was a great experience anyways I went and got my hair uh touched up and cut I got a cut I got um color new highlights they did an amazing job and um a blowout but I just washed out the blowout for the first time this morning and um these are my curls with no product in it and I and I also um dried with a 
diffuser instead of air drying and I kind of messed up the front bits, but I think it looks pretty good for absolutely nothing in it. I don't know, there's like, uh, I'm definitely trying to gain some confidence when it comes to my hair. Like I love my curls, but a lot of the time I only love them when they look perfect, which they never do, but close to perfect. So I'm trying to embrace like some frizziness and volume and things like that because that's what I've always been afraid of and really go outside even when my hair isn't looking perfect. But it's hard. So I'll do it here on YouTube, but I like the color and making me look quite tanned. That's a really pretty bronzer, easy to use. Another product that I love, my good old Pixie On The Glow blush. But I just started this book. Um, it's quite popular. Not a lot of blush, but I want a lot of blush. Um, I started listening to this book called Set Boundaries and Find Peace, A Guide to Reclaiming Yourself. Um, up until last year, I'd never heard of boundaries, like outside of like, these are the boundaries of the field or something, you know what I mean? <laughs> like physical boundaries, not about like humans and stuff. So I've been learning a lot about that, about attachment styles. Um, so the book Set Boundaries, Find Peace by Nadra Glover Tawab. Um, and then another book that was incredible about attachment styles, if you're looking to tackle things with family or romantic relationships, is called Attached. I like listening to like self-helpy type books because they're almost more like podcasts. I find books that have dialogue and people are a little harder to listen to. And then I figured I would break this guy out, shiny and pretty and gold. Oh wait, no, this is the blush. I actually need a highlighter. I just realized as I was saying that. <laughs> Stand by. Who else is here? Ooh, I love this one. This is one of my favorite liquid highlighters from Rare Beauty. Beautiful. So if you're curious about what I like from Rare Beauty, the cream blush, cream highlighter, and the um, newly from them is their mascara. And I used it in my most recent video, I think. And it's beautiful. I think at the end of the day, it's just so important to be kind to yourself. So for example, yesterday I woke up um, let me powder my face. I'm gonna use the uh, Makeup Revolution powder. But yesterday I woke up with bad anxiety. I wasn't feeling well. I was feeling nauseous. And um, a lot of the time that has led me just to kind of like lay there and do nothing. But I was thinking like if it was a friend or somebody else, family member, whatever, I would be getting up. I would be trying to get them oatmeal. I would be doing things for them, right? So instead I got myself up and made myself some oatmeal. And although I wasn't able to finish it, I like felt good about doing something for myself and it did make me feel a little bit better. And you know, that's like kind of a, a more specific example, but even just like you know, being upset about something, being sh feeling shame about something, feeling guilt, feeling um, remorse or upset or heartbreak or whatever it is. Like, we are humans. It's like, you know, not to be getting all in there on you, but like, it's part of the human experience. And I've been reading a lot about happiness. I'm going to use the Lancome eyeshadow primer. Got a lot of questions about eyeshadow primers when I was talking about them recently. So I figured I would use them more. Um, this is another good one. But uh, it was talking about happiness and like, you know, people say happiness is fleeting, blah, blah, blah. But the point is, is that happiness is really just like a single emotion and there's other good things and you can really focus on that so much to the point that we ignore contentment. Everything that we want is like, you know, if we have a good day, it's because it was the most productive, it was the most um, exciting or best or whatever it may be for whatever reason. Just grab a bronzer grab this Bobbi Brown in um, natural one. But then if you're judging all of your best days off of like your absolute most, most productive moments, then just generally good days will be seen as failures and you'll end up being harder on yourself. So like, for example, uh, I need to really look around and see like peace and contentment as something that is good because when you get used to chaos or you get used to feeling a particular way, it can feel unfamiliar and uncomfortable to feel other ways, but you're just not necessarily used to it. And again, this is like, firstly, very vague. Secondly, um, not necessarily uh, relevant to everybody, but it's just kind of things that I've been thinking about a lot because, you know, we're always playing the comparison game and um, 
um, it's it's endless, right? And people do it to me. I'm a YouTuber. Like that's I do it to other YouTubers. <laughs> you know, I have friends who are in the industry, and they. Uh, this is the NYX Off Tropic palette. I really love the mustard in here, so I'm gonna grab that. Uh, and they are, you know, doing the same thing that I'm doing, and I'm looking at them being like, wow, they probably have no problems, and everything's perfect, and da-da-da, when I'm in the industry, and I know the problems, and I know, and I literally spend the days, we spend the days talking about our problems. <laughs> um, so, it's, uh, oh god, that went, that went way too red. I fully lost my train of thought. <laughs> It's the other thing, you don't realize how much anxiety um, messes with your memory. I really noticed changes at times. Hmm, maybe I actually kind of like this. The reason that I liked this shade initially was because it pulls so well on my skin tone with very little effort and I can do like a great one shadow look with a mustard. You can hear Rue snoring. <laughs> Put on my lower lash line a bit too. Really snoring. You tie your baby. I'm not sleeping well, so that means she's not sleeping well either. <laughs> Emily will sleep all day and all night. She doesn't care, but Rue will be up with me if I'm up. So I'm going to take this Bobbi Brown bronzer. This video might be a little bit disjointed and all over the place because of all of the reasons that I've listed. <laughs> um, and I, uh, I think it's just really important to show like both sides of it because for me. I have a hard time saying like I have really bad anxiety and depression whatever it may be and then also you know c coming on here and doing my videos and stuff but anybody else who who suffers with this would know that you still have to go to work you still have to do things right my work just happens to be this so I still have to show up and do as much as I can and push through and film videos and things like that so I feel like I have a bit of a unique opportunity that the times that I do have to, you know, put up a video like this where I can be completely open and honest, like if, like there's this weird feeling, this weird guilty feeling that I get when I'm feeling really bad and I jump on here and I'm like, hey guys, what's up? Let's talk about like my favorite highlighters or whatever. It feels disingenuous, which is like not true. That's my own thing to unpack. But just being able to say to you that I'm having a horrible day makes me feel so much better but and this is I don't know what this is exactly but then I have the feeling of being like well people are gonna think that I'm not being truthful because how can I say that I'm having such a horrible day and I'm on here kind of like laughing and joking right but that's exactly why I'm doing it because it like ebbs and flows it comes and goes um, and you still have to work and pull it together sometimes it's easy for people to say rest and take your time off and things like that but it's not always feasible, so you need to give yourself the time and space when you can, and um, give yourself the forgiveness when you're having a hard time. Using the Charlotte Bil Sh Bilberry, Charlotte, <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury, Charlotte, Charlotte Tilbury. I've got two products from her, so I'm gonna get them out at once. Swish and Pop Blusher in the Climax, and then I'm also gonna try her new mascara in Push Up Lashes. I love this blush such a good one she doesn't make a lot for deeper skin unfortunately I feel like but this is a good kind of neutral I didn't think through my powder highlight this is a good gold one it is from Mac in oh darling extra dimension skin finish oldie buddy goodie oh yeah not some mascara, I just realized. And a little bit of this on the inner corner. I'm also going to take this Derma Blend setting spray in Lock and Last. I have high hopes for this. Derma Blend makes great complexion stuff. And then onto the push up lashes from Miss Bilberry. This has an interesting brush very th very thin and small actually it's like flat and then it's got like kind of two I think kind of like um did Fenty do like this oh right in the inner corner but I like it it's very black it's almost kind of matte looking so like it looks 
Ah, there's something, I think it's a little bit longer than normal because I've touched my inner corner now twice. And that's not like, I normally am messy with the eyelashes, but not in there. That's, I had to get used to this brush, it's quite long, I think. Okay, minus that I messed that up, look at that. Wow. Okay, for my lips, no one shocked, ColourPop BFF3. The ultimate happiness. Ooh. Snorky. And I love, love, love this from Essence. It is one of their Color Burst Mad About Matte Liquid Lipsticks in the shade number eight, Partner in Crime. It's a little this in the center. So here is the finished makeup look. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna go wash all of this off my face, but I definitely do feel better. Thank you so much for spending even a minute with me. It means the world. And I hope that um, I'll be able to get these kind of videos up more frequently and have them be a little bit more focused. It's really a vulnerable thing for me to discuss. So again, if it seems a little bit all over the place or anything like that, it's really hard to tackle because I want it to be natural, but I also want have some kind of flow and value for you so let me know if you enjoyed this style of video even if you just like hanging out with me and hearing me blab that's important or if you feel like you'd rather there be more structure or anything like that I'm open to constructive criticism so <laughs> for the most part but thank you so much for watching if you'd like to connect with me you can find me on Instagram Twitter and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT and I'll see you guys next time bye